Hi readers, welcome to Reading Workshop today. I am so excited to teach you something new to do as a reader. How many of you like to watch movies? If you like to watch movies, raise your hand. Me too. Well, did you know that it is someone's job to make these movies? And I don't mean the actors, the people that are acting things out. I'm talking about the directors. Movie directors read and read and read some more, just like you. And sometimes when they're reading, they do a lot of thinking and they think about what would be happening if they were to make a movie in their mind. I bet all of you could be great movie directors. You can be the director every time you read a book. Using your imagination and looking at the pictures and words to make a movie in your mind and then you can understand the book even better. So how about it? Are you ready to become a movie director? If you are, give me a thumbs up. Today, I want to teach you another tool that readers use to understand their books. Readers pay attention to what's happening and they imagine more than what's in the pictures. They use their imagination to make a movie in their mind. So today we're going to practice making a movie to picture what's happening. So let's get to work. We're going to use Zelda and Ivy. And you guys have such a great imagination that you can help me make this movie at the same time. Are you ready, directors? If you're ready, put on your director's hat. And we're going to get ready to make a movie in, their mind, in our minds. Let's look at this picture first. Look closely at that picture. It says, Ivy sighed. She hugged Princess Mimi and added her to the box. Hmm. Let's use the picture to help us make a movie in our minds. Well, in the picture, I see that Ivy is hugging Princess Mimi. When you see that, give me a thumbs up. She looks pretty sad. And Zelda is holding out the box with her nose in the air like she's waiting. But wait, the picture doesn't show everything that's happening. It doesn't show Ivy sighing or adding Princess Mimi to the box. And it doesn't show Zelda digging the hole for the time capsule. We've got some work to do to make this movie. Are you ready? Lights, camera, action. Close your eyes. And I want you to picture what's happening. I can see in my mind, Ivy, squeezing Princess Mimi so tight because she doesn't want to let her go. Hmm. Oh, I can hear her making a big sigh like this. <sighs> and what else can I see? Oh, I see Zelda's foot is up. I bet she's tapping her foot impatiently like tap, tap, tap. Can you do that with me? Tap, tap, tap. She might be impatiently waiting for Ivy to put Mimi in the box. Hmm, what else do I see? I see that Ivy doesn't want to give up her doll because she'll be missing her. And cut. Great job, movie directors. You did a great job closing your eyes and making a movie in your mind. We looked at the pictures and the words to make a movie in our mind, and that helped us understand our book better. Are you ready to try again, movie directors? This time, you're going to try all by yourself. Are you ready for our next two pages? Zelda buried the time capsule under the cherry tree. Look really close at that picture. Now close your eyes, and I want you to imagine them burying the time capsule under the cherry trees. Do you see or smell the cherries on the tree? Do you imagine Ivy's face? She's probably sad that Princess Mimi is going away. Can you see the dirt on Zelda's hands as she digs a hole for the time capsule? Awesome job, movie directors. You imagine so much more than what was on the page in the picture and the words. Let's do one more. Later that day, Ivy sat on the swing and drew circles in the dirt with her paw. If only I had Princess Mimi. I could play castle. Look closely at that picture. Think about what's happening in the story. All right, movie directors, close your eyes. 
And lights, camera, action, start your movie. You might see tears running down Ivy's face. You might hear the swing going tick, tick, or shoo, shoo, as Ivy swings back and forth. You might even see into her brain how she's thinking she's sad because she misses Mimi. And cut. Awesome job, movie directors. Readers, now you have two tools to help you understand your book. You can reread when things feel confusing, and you can make a picture in your mind. Remember, we're always going to stop and think what might happen next. When you're reading today, during your reading time, I want you to try really hard to become a movie director and make that movie in your mind. So you might stop and study just one page and think, what's not in this picture and what's not in these words that I can also picture in my mind? When you do that, feel free to just think about it or feel free to draw a picture of what you might be picturing in your mind. Readers, find a cozy place, stack your books nice and tall, and I hope that you're ready to become movie directors as you read today. Show me those reading muscles. And one, two, read. One, two, okay.